Here I am with the DX Engineering Capacity Hat Kit. The kit is designed primarily for use with the Thunderbolt antenna produced by DX Engineering. The um, uh, Capacity Hat, however, could be used with other antennas that have a um, diameter, a tubing diameter at the top um, that would match these clamps that are supplied or the clamp could be changed of course to accommodate some other diameter tubing. Um, the tube that it attaches to on the Thunderbolt is an inch and an eighth diameter um, and the kit as it arrives is just about as you see it here all the parts are in heat sealed pouches uh, easily identified and you get a set of stainless steel uh, rods they call hot rods and these are this will make up the actual capacity hat and um, the instructions are fairly well laid out as has been the case with all the DX engineering products we've uh, put together so far it puts it out in a step-by-step -step format and it makes the whole assembly process quite easy to follow so I'll take the parts out of the pouches and we'll get ready for the assembly process um, here in the shop before we take it out to the antenna. Okay, we've uh, separated all of the hardware from the uh, pouches and primarily there is a aluminum block, an aluminum block that has a, uh, a series of threaded holes with set screws that will hold the, the hot rods in position and this um, uh, aluminum block then sits on a post, a stainless steel post that will be clamped here let me start a little bit better with this uh, angle bracket. The angle bracket is attached to the mast or the uh, portion of the antenna near the top. This post then will be fastened to this angle bracket and the actual um, block that holds the hot rods then sits on top of this post. So it can easily by loosening a couple of set screws be removed and you can leave the post right on the antenna so you can add or remove the capacitance hat to the antenna which would then allow you to optimize the tuning uh, quite quickly by simply lowering the antenna and removing it or adding it back onto the antenna. Um, in the assembly process then we'll just be adding these stainless steel clamps to this bracket which will allow us to, to uh, clamp it to the antenna. Uh, we'll be adding these hot rods. <clears throat> I've already placed the um, plastic ends on the rods. That's probably the most difficult task <laughs> of the entire assembly process but you add those to the end of the rods these rods then will pass through holes that are drilled in this aluminum block and then as we've already showed the block will be mounted on the antenna. Okay I've added the stainless steel clamps to this little bracket and uh, the bracket will be mounted to the antenna as we've said. Next we want to mount this stainless steel post <clears throat> by using the uh, included hardware but first we'll be putting some uh, of this anti-seize compound on the stainless steel hardware which will pretty much guarantee years of um, service without any issues. I found that using a flex brush and uh, putting a little of the anti-seize on the uh, flex brush you can paint the threads <clears throat> which is uh, gives you just the appropriate amount, um, keeps it clean, and now we'll assemble it by putting the post through, followed by a flat washer, a split washer, and the uh, nut itself. So we'll tighten all that up. I'll snug that down with a wrench before we put it on the antenna and now the um, little block will fit on top of that post when it's mounted on top of the antenna and we'll be ready to go. Here's the assembled 
capacitance hat. It has the clamps and the block with the hot rods mounted in the block. All the set screws have been tightened down and the block here actually just sits on top of this post. So when we do finally mount this on the antenna, it'll slip onto this post and two set screws then will fasten it to that post so it'll stay in position. The um, rods themselves are four feet long. We're using three feet extending from the center here so it'll be a, uh, a geometric figure with a three foot radius. We could extend it out further which would lower the frequency more and you can also move this uh, clamp system up higher on the antenna and that would also lower the um, center frequency of the antenna so there is some tuning option tuning room available to you. So we're ready to go it's all assembled and now we'll mount it on the antenna tighten the hardware down and uh, we should be finished. Well it's a noisy day out here at the antenna site uh, since we were out here last fall it's arrived and all the neighbors are busy mulching leaves and tilling their gardens but we'll try to make do with all the uh, background noise. We've got the antenna uh, tilted over and I've got the clamp here which I'm to mount um, on the 1 and 1 8 inch tube of the antenna which I'll go in and fasten those clamps and uh, then we'll be ready to uh, uh, position the hat on top of this uh, little post. Okay, the uh, clamp is tightened and the mounting post is in position so I can simply now place the antenna hat on the post. There we go, the hat is now on the post. I'll just simply uh, tighten down the uh, set screws and it's all installed. It's that simple. So we'll uh, finish with that and crank the antenna back up. Alright, here is the antenna, the 8040VA-1. It's a nice blue sky background today. Here is a plot of the standing wave ratio versus frequency for the uh, Thunderbolt antenna with and without the capacity hat installed. The blue curve shows, and here's a table, I'm not sure if you'll be able to read this or not, but the table up above shows the actual SWR reading versus frequency. And uh, the S standing wave uh, 1 series on the farthest um, left side was without the capacity hat and then the uh, next column standing wave ratio 2 was with um, two hot rods installed uh, as the capacity hat and then the third column was with one hot rod uh, up there with the aluminum block. I just wanted to lower the resonant frequency a little bit. So here's the actual plot and the um, blue curve showed the antenna um, 
with the without the capacity hat and as you can see when you get out towards 3.55 um, uh, megahertz that the SWR starts to jump up there and it, it actually got up to about 4 to 1 a little higher than I wanted so if I had all six hot rods installed it worked beautifully for the CW portion of the band but it did not allow me to operate um, higher up in the middle of the sideband portion so I um, looked at the instructions and they said you can reduce the number of rods and also reduce their length to um, have less of an effect on the antenna so that's what I did I went, went down to just two rods and then I centered them in that aluminum block so there would be two 24 inch long um, portions of wire sticking out of that block for each hot rod uh, so the the red curve showed two hot rods in other words there'd be four ends sticking out of the aluminum block centered that would be 24 inches long and you can see that it lowered the um, operating frequency nicely towards the lower end of the band and then I just took uh, one of those rods out so I just left one hot rod in the aluminum block and that has two ends sticking out the uh, of the aluminum block each one being 24 inches long approximately and that's the green line that you see on this curve and that's um, just about what I was looking for it still gave me a about a 3 to 1 SWR um, at the top end um, let's see it was at 3.95 megahertz for an SWR 3 and then at the bottom of the band I got uh, at 3.5 megahertz I got a SWR of 2.5 so that's manageable with the auto tuner that I have and the linear and uh, certainly will work with my manual tuner and uh, it gives me very very nice operating conditions across the majority of the uh, 80 meter band and 75 meter band as well so it um, works very nicely the uh, whole project installed quickly and uh, performed just as uh, the uh, literature described it and I'm uh, very very pleased with the outcome so as has been my entire experience using this uh, Thunderbolt antenna and DX Engineering has put together a, a fine product so that's uh, the end of this uh, video and the installation of the capacity hat on the 8040VA-1 Thunderbolt antenna.